Hi, this is Mrs. Ziegler, and I'm going to go over how you're going to complete your Google Slides. So here, you're going to click to the Identifying Guest Law Variables. Again, it's a Google Slides. Here are the directions. So remember, you are going to need to be in your Google account. So you have to be logged in. If you don't have one, it's very easy to make one. So once you click on this, when you're in your Google account, it'll say make a copy. Once you click on make a copy, then your copy will come up. Okay, so up here where it says copy of replace your name, you're going to replace your name here. Again, if you don't do this, I'm going to take points off because again that's you not following simple directions all right so here i have all the slides this gives you the direction as to what you're doing so it says here you're going to underline the question you're going to identify your variables with its units and then you are going to highlight which gas law it is so here it tells you that whatever you have temperature, you got to convert it to Kelvin. You're not solving these problems. So one of your answers will not be filled in, but you will fill in what unit it is. So here on the next slide, this is to help you. So if you forget how to identify if it's pressure, it's measured in atmosphere. If it's in volume, it's either liters or milliliters. If it's temperature and they give you temperature in degrees Celsius, you have to convert it to Kelvin. When it's in degrees Celsius, you just add 273 to change it into Kelvin. All right, so again, here is to help you figure out which law you're going to use. So if you need help to figure out which law you're going to use, you will just go back to slide three. So I'm going to do problem number one, and then you'll know how you're going to complete your assignment. So again, first thing that you have to do is you are going to identify what you've been given and what you're solving for. So to underline the questions, so you're going to underline the question. So you're going to highlight what the question is, what would essentially you're going to, this is what you're solving for. What is the new volume to highlight? You just go up here to your toolbar, hit, underline so i underline the question then you're going to fill in what p1 v1 and p2 and v2 is so my p1 here is the three atmospheres okay my v1 is two liters whoops and then it says pressure is reduced to t or i'm sorry two atmospheres and then this is what we're solving for because it says what's the volume so here you're just going to put question mark and then the unit again whatever unit is not duplicate that is the unit of your answer now you have to decide whose law is it well again if you don't know that this is Boyle's law because it's pressure and volume go to slide three I see that I have p1s and v1s so therefore this can only be Boyle's law to highlight again you're just going to go highlight this one and then up here you're going to click highlight again and then therefore this is what you highlight because this is the law that you're going to use once you finish because there are a total of 10 problems, then you are going to, I'm going to move this here, You'll to sh finish it, you're going to click on share. Then you're going to click here where it says restricted. You're going to click on anyone with the link. Then you're going to copy the link. And then you're going to go back to Schoology to your assignment and submit the link. Again, the directions are right here. Easiest way to do is to click on submit then you're going to click on create and then you're going to paste the link in the in the uh, create box and then you hit submit and that's all you have to do if you have any questions please make sure you reach out